the channel. If you're new here, I am Lori Ingalls Gunn. Summer has definitely arrived in my neck of the woods. I think today it's 94 degrees. In the summertime, you will often find me in cool cotton house dresses. The 1950s is my favorite style decade um, because of my shape. I love the full skirts and I've been wanting to make a few new different styles. And I can't remember if it was three or four years ago, I met my friend Tanya at Costume College and she has Mrs. Hughes Pattern Shop on Etsy and I will link both her uh, pattern as well as her Instagram account because she is super fun to follow. But what drew me to her is she was wearing this incredible dress and I needed to know more about it. It had rows upon rows of metallic rickrack and ribbon and she said, this is a patio dress. They were popular in the 40s and 50s. So I went down the rabbit hole of studying these dresses. And actually, the history goes back even a little bit further. And if you'd like to know more, as well as see some vintage images, you can head over to my website, Decor to Adore. I will link the direct link to that post down below in the description box. So I first went through my pattern stash and I found this pattern that I had bought several years ago. It's Vogue 8789. Now I did double check and this re-release of a 1957 pattern is still currently being printed so you can get it at any of your fabric shops that sell patterns. But I thought that the neckline of View A would work really beautifully. Um, the patio dresses, they uh, often have a similar V neckline. I've also seen them with bateau necklines, as well as a V neckline with a collar. And I like both the bateau and the v-neck, but I decided I was going to go with the v-neck first. And if, if I love it, I may then do view B. Now, this requires almost five yards of fabric, so four and seven eighths. And most of that is definitely in the full skirt. Um, I think I want to say last spring, maybe even time flies. But anyways, in the Dallas Fabric District, there is a shop called the Fabric Warehouse. And in the center of the store are some open bins and you often find um, the end of the bolt fabrics in there. And I had found this beautiful, it's, I would classify it as a cotton sateen. It's got a wonderful drape. There is a slight sheen to it. Now my problem was that this only was three and a half yards. So what I did in terms of this pattern is I went ahead and cut out the bodice pieces first and then I decided that whatever I had left would be my skirt. So my skirt is not quite as full or quite as long as what it should be according to the pattern. Um, I'm 5'4", so in using the pattern as is, it probably would have been too long for me anyways, um, but it's basically just the pattern piece itself is just a giant, almost square, but rectangle. So I've actually already started. Sometimes I start projects late at night when filming 
the lighting, of course, is not ideal. So, you know, I have to remind myself to go back and make an introduction. So I've started sewing my big rectangular pieces of fabric together. And because it's so full, and I also uh, will be washing and wearing this, I am using French seaming. Now, my next step is while it is still flat, um, before I sew it closed into like a gigantic tube and add the gathering stitches, before I do that, I am going to add at least four, maybe five rows of trim. And the trim that I have, again, I try to buy a lot of my sewing notions at estate sales. You know, it's much more low cost, um, you get better quality, and in addition to that, it's keeping things out of the landfill. So it's just a big win-win. So some of the things that I will be using to finish this dress is a vintage talon zipper. Um, and I always love the packaging on the insides. Um, their instructions are very thorough. And I have some metallic rickrack if you can see that. And then I have some baby rickrack. And then a few solid ribbons that I'll use. But the thing that's going to bring it all together, I think, and I'll, I'll come in closely so that you can see it, is this beautiful vintage ribbon, again, that I had gotten at an estate sale. It's picking up some of the metallic colors. Um, my husband has a shirt, well, actually the same color that I'm wearing right now. So it, uh, it'll be a cute date night pairing to his uh, linen shirt of this somewhat teal color. So I'm gonna go ahead and because this is so much fabric. I really have to spread out on the ground to lay out all of the ribbon. And I'm going to have to piece um, some of the trim. It comes in three yard increments and the skirt itself is about five and a half yards. I think if I remember right, the skirt circumference is 140 inches when it's finished so it's it's a lot of fabric and i have no doubt that gracie the dachshund will probably be trying to help me as i lay all of this out on the floor it should be a fun time